Hey guys, I'm here with Rodney. Rodney, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm a founder and an operator, and the company I founded called Veravend, quite simply put, is like Venmo for investment transactions. Very cool. So how did you come up with IT? Yeah, IT is a pretty interesting story. <laughs> My co-founders and I have always been part of early stage, high growth startups. And through that experience, we realized that payments were fundamentally broken in a lot of reasons for a lot of different verticals. And interestingly, we created our own aha moment. So we've raised multiple rounds of funding to power our own business and grow our own business. And the first time we did that, we used our own platform because it was a no brainer. Mm -hmm. Our attorney said, do you want us to use our escrow account and manage the wires? And I said, well, hold on a second. We've got this great payments platform. I'd be a fool if I didn't ask my investors to fund through it. And this epiphany occurred where we said, geez, this is really great. And it's built for private investment transactions, taking in capital. And then our investors further validated that and came back to me and said, you know, Rodney, that was a great experience for us. We're sick and tired of the pain and the friction and the lack of security and doing capital calls and distributions. Can we use Veravend? Mm. So a couple of years ago, we really laser focused down to be that Venmo for private capital. What's one or two things that you wish more people understood about how you guys add value? The main thing is people should not be okay with the status quo. And as you know, from raising a lot of money on your end, that the status quo is really the accepted process for doing it. And right. it should be questioned. We think about when people raise capital, what does it look like? It's here's your capital call notice, which is typically a PDF or a Word doc. It's sent sometimes through email, maybe on a static document portal. There's no sophistication or modernization to it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, woefully lacking in security because cyber criminals are continuing to target private investment transactions just due to their high dollar volume. I would say, you know, people should question the the fact that there's a better way to do it and there's a more secure way to do it. And then on the LP side, I always say, what's the last thing you want to do in, in putting stuff in front of an LP that you're asking to part with our hard earned money? It's friction, mm -hmm. right? So making it an easier, effortless process for investment sponsors to raise capital and making it a frictionless process for LPs to invest. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys grow. I mean, anytime you can reduce friction to make things easier, 